Hello there, namaste. So I finally got around to watching La Pata Ladies. I, don't, I, I, it's, I, I assume that's how it's said. I don't think that is how it's said, but La Pata Ladies. All right, I'm going to say I actually enjoyed this movie. It's a fictional story. It takes place in 2001, and it's basically a man who loses his wife. Apparently, he gets married at an auspicious time. Auspicious is the wrong word, but a very, a very good time, a good kind of omen time. And, well, because it's a time period where everyone says it's a good omen, multiple other people got married at the same time, and he ends up grabbing the wrong woman off the train which isn't his wife and she follows him because in the end she's trying to escape what's going to be an abusive relationship so this is one of those like dark comedies however the way it balances it out i i'm not entirely a fan of but i do respect it because the way it balances it out being a dark comedy is there are select characters where their story is is the hard part is the the darkness of the world is the tough part to go through the man who lost his wife and forgot her on the train he's feeling anguish because well he's feeling devastation because of that the woman who saw a chance to run away from an abusive relationship that is the other side of the dark coin everything else is the comedic aspect so you have the officer the cop who Honestly, the second he's in frame, he t uh, the guy tells him, I lost my wife. I need help finding her. And he's like, you lucky guy. I've been trying to lose mine for the past 20 years. So immediately you like the officer. But it's every side character that kind of adds the comedy aspect to it. Like he goes like when the, the one who lost her, his wife or his. Yeah, his wife. He's going around showing a picture to everyone. And then there's, there's this one guy he shows a picture to and he's like, you can't, there's not even a face in this photo. You, you can't, there, there's a, without the face, you can't see anything about them. They have to be showing their face. And then you hear uh, his wife behind him saying like, uh, T, and then it shows her in frame. She's wearing an entire burqa. All you see is her eyes. And it's just like, the, the the hypocrisy kind of of it, the funniness, that was kind of funny because here he's talking about how seeing the face is important, but his wife is fully covered head to toe. But it, it, it was like the little things there that were comedic, but every time there was the main character there, or the main actress there, it was always serious. The, 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 she was, she called her grandma, uh, pool called her grandma, but it wasn't her grandma. It was just a nice elderly lady who kind of took her in who had a sad story. She was basically being abused by her husband. Her kids took advantage of her, and she basically was the only one making the money. So she kicked them all out and started taking care of her for the days while her husband was looking for her. So I liked the story. It was very, very heartfelt because there were parts where I'm just like, ah, oh, because it's tough to hear. And then it, like, I got to say, I preferred the comedy of Mimi because the lead actress where she would be doing something which would make you feel gut-wrenching pain and then in the next scene she does like a look to the taxi driver which immediately makes you start laughing because it's just the way it was balanced out where each character was both comedic and dark here specific characters are just dark it kind of flips near the end where everyone starts to be more serious, everyone has a select role, and I actually did respect that, I did enjoy that, but this film, oh my gosh, it really does show the, the coin aspect, like two sides of each coin. It shows the man who truly loves his, his wife and is devastated at the fact that he can't find her and wants to be with her, the fact that he loves her, and then it has the, the other side with the man who basically, well, apparently, he was accused of taking out his previous wife and you know it's all speculation and all that stuff and here he's he's just wanting to get married and on the wedding night when she disappears he goes to find another woman and it's just like serious disgust but there are men like that there are people like of course there are women like that too but yeah there are people like that and then it shows the the two-sided aspect of the women there was pool who just wanted to be with her husband who was raised to be the perfect wife who didn't know anything about the world didn't even know the name of the town where her her husband lived, knew nothing of that. And then there was the other one, the one who ran away with the guy because uh, she saw an opportunity to escape the abusive man. She's well-educated. She learned a lot. She wants to start a career, or not really a career, but wants to do something for herself. She doesn't want to be trapped in a house, in a kitchen, just slaving away for someone who probably or obviously doesn't even care for her. 
Yeah. So I, I liked how it did that. I liked how it showed different avenues. It wasn't all about one thing because both men and women, because sure, she was kind of being selfish, but at the same time, she was being forced into it by her family. And that's kind of sad, the fact that people are forced into that. The people are basically kind of pushed into certain things. Because it was funny because I kept hearing them talking about dowry. And it's 2001 at the time. I don't know if it, it was illegal at that point. But yeah, just hearing that, I was just like disgusted in that kind of concept. Because I'm just like, you, you are selling off your... Well, you're not really selling off. You're giving people money to take your daughters. It's just, it just doesn't make sense to me. I know, I know some people will say it's a custom. It needs to be done. There's a reason why it's done, but I don't get it. I don't get it. I'll never get it. It ne will never make sense to me. No matter how, no matter how it's explained, it'll never make sense to me, but that's just who I am. And we're all different, but I did enjoy this film. This film is a fun ish watch. Cause honestly, I got to say, I laughed less than I felt, you know, the, the anguish of the characters. I felt more ugh type of feeling than a ah ha 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 type of feeling. Yeah, that didn't sound very enthusiastic, did it? <laughs> there we go. Thank you all for watching. Uh, I recommend this movie for at least a one watch. Mimi, of course, I really want to rewatch again just because it, it just captured everything. Definitely my type of film. Definitely a rough topic. And it was just so well done. But thank you all for watching. Talk to you next time. Doodles.